So let's figure out how to create our new votes table. And I'm gonna first show you guys how to do this within PG Admin, so just with regular Postgres, and then we'll take a look at how to do this with SQL Alchemy. And I'm just gonna go under tables and I'm gonna create a new table, we'll call it votes. And then under columns here, I'm going to add a column and this is going to be post underscore ID. So this is gonna be the column that referenced the ID of the specific post. This should, uh, and then um, actually before we do anything else, I'm gonna add a, the other column in as well. And then we're gonna have the user underscore ID. And so these are both gonna be integers. And then we can just select primary key, primary key. And that's gonna create that composite key. And then we have to set up the foreign keys as well. So these are gonna reference other tables. So for the post ID, we can go into uh, constraints and then we'll go into foreign key. We'll add a new foreign key. And I'm gonna call this votes underscore posts underscore primary, whoops, not primary key, foreign key. And actually, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. And then we're just gonna go into here for the columns. We're gonna select the local column, which is gonna be post ID. Sorry, it's not post ID. Yeah, post ID. And then for the referencing table, it's gonna be the posts table. And then we're gonna grab the ID of that. And for action uh, on delete, we're gonna make sure it's set to cascade so that if the, if the post gets deleted, we're gonna delete this entry. And then we'll add that in there. Oh, it looks like it's got deleted. Let me just redo this. We'll add that. And so we've got that in there now. And that should be it for the first foreign key. Let's add another foreign key. And this is gonna be called votes underscore users underscore foreign key. Columns, this is going to be user underscore ID of the local table. This is gonna reference the users table and then it's gonna reference the ID. We'll hit that. Actions. Uh, this is going to be a uh, cascade as well. And we'll save that. And then I'm going to right click on the votes table and then we can go to view, edit data. We'll go to all rows. You can see it's a very simple table. So let's create a new, uh, let's create a new uh, vote first. Uh, and so I'm going to, uh, first of all, I've got way too many of these windows. So I'm going to just quickly delete those. All right, so I got those deleted. I'm going to open up uh, a new query. And I can just go into database. We'll do query. And I'm going to do select star from posts and then select star from users just so I can get a list of uh, post IDs and user IDs. So I got user ID of 21, 23, 24. And uh, for the post, we got 10, 4, 9. So let's try those out. And I already forgot them. So let's, let's get that post ID again. Uh, so we'll just grab a post ID of 10. So this is going to be 10. And then the user ID, well, I'm going to open up a new window so I can just switch between them. So now we have the, both of these windows for querying and I can do select star from users. Uh, 21. Okay, so we'll do And it looks like we hit a bug in PG Admin because I can't write anything here. So I'm just gonna do view edit data all rows again. And that looks a little bit better. So let's get a post 10 and a user of 21. So 10, 21. And let's see if we're successfully able to get that. And it looks like that worked. And then if I grab a post ID that doesn't exist, uh, so let's say like 99, and then a valid user, Let's see what happens. It's gonna throw an error, that's good. And then if we grab a valid post number, but a ID of a user that doesn't exist, we should also get an error. And then if any of these are blank, let's save, it should throw an error as well. Okay, so our table looks set. That's pretty much all we have to do. There's nothing else for these tables. You'll see that once you can create one table, you can really create them all. So I'm just gonna drop this table for now. And in the next video, we'll take a look at defining our model in SQL Alchemy so that SQL Alchemy actually generates the table for us.